family life can be really messy. So investing in a vacuum cleaner that's gonna help you manage the muck and mayhem that kids are so good at creating is well worth the money. And are there models on the market that offer a decent range of features for a reasonable price? We asked Mumsnet users which vacuums had made the grade in their homes. We also looked up the best sellers and what products were new to market. We then compiled a short list of the best options and got testing. In testing, we wanted to make sure that the vacuum cleaners would be able to withstand all the common challenges in a house. So we put them all through 10 hours of testing each, as well as some standardized tests to see how they fared. The results are in and we've awarded the Vax Blade to Max, the Mumsnet Best Vacuum Cleaner. In reality, you don't need much from a vacuum cleaner. It doesn't need Bluetooth, a pedometer, it doesn't need to post to your Instagram stories. It just needs to be able to suck up dirt, be reasonably light and relatively affordable. The Vax ticks all those boxes. It's only three kilos, actually two kilos when in handheld mode. It's relatively affordable at just 249 pounds recommended retail price and it really sucks, in a good way. So, what's in the box? So aside from the vacuum itself, you get your standard vacuum head, you get a handy wall mount, great for storage, a dust brush attachment, and the crevice tool attachment, which is now my newest insult for my husband on days he's annoying me. But if you buy from Vax Direct, you get the Pro Kit included. But if you can find it cheaper and you don't need all the extras, One of the things I noticed about this vacuum is how easy it is to maneuver around furniture, chair legs, even unhelpful children, as they do tend to get in the way. It's even really helpful if you want to get under low-rise furniture like a sofa, because there's actually some LED lights on the front that are going to come on, but only in carpet mode. Pet hair on softer surfaces like sofas or pet bedding can be a nightmare, but using the textile tool, they are easy to take care of. Watch this. If you're moving from wood floors to carpet, it's just as easy and you don't even have to change the head. You simply click this button here and that turns on carpet mode, which gets the brush bar moving in the vacuum head and gets all that extra dirt out of those fibers. What I do love about this vacuum is how quick and easy it is to just swap heads part way through your job. The nice thing about the Vax Blade 2 Max is that it has a removable bagless bin. Just use this grey button here, click, and just lift it off. And then this button on the side, pop. But it can be a bit messy. If you and your family have allergies, it might not be ideal. You might want to try a bagged vacuum cleaner with a HEPA filter such as the Shark Duo Clean powered liftaway vacuum that we tried in testing. The Vax has a capacity of 0.6 litres, which is pretty average for a cordless vacuum on the market. The Vax is really easy to clean. Simply pop it open and lift out the filter, which the manufacturers recommend washing about once a month, but it does depend how often you use your vacuum. Just wash it and leave it to air dry, then fit it back in. If the vacuum is fully charged, you'll get around 45 minutes of runtime. But remember, if you're using Boost, you will burn through that quicker. From empty, it will take about three hours to fill up on charge. But other than that, you're good to go. Overall, we think the Vax Blade 2 Max is the best vacuum cleaner on the market at the moment. It's lightweight, versatile, powerful, and great value for money. Basically, it sucks up dirt really well and isn't gonna break the bank. And what more do you need? For more vacuum cleaner reviews, head to mumsnet.com forward slash reviews and don't forget to click subscribe.